of the fly. Here is a uh, Headhunter head October Caddis. Uh, this is my one of my personal patterns I've developed over the years of uh, fishing here on the Yakima. Uh, really great fall October Caddis pattern. Uh, it's good for multiple reasons. It's a uh, foam body, which makes it you know uh, float really well, and uh, it's it's a good option to use the dry dropper system. And then uh, also this this fly. Uh, skates really good so um, I'd recommend this pattern for an October caddis certainly it's, uh, it's pretty much my go-to fly in the uh, fall time okay so uh, to start this fly uh, 10 aught thread color is not really that important the color is going to be uh, covered up so uh, first thing we're going to do is you know, lay down a good thread base on the hook here Stop about uh, right about the start of the bend of the hook. So the first material here uh, is a little strip of uh, two millimeter uh, orange foam, and I pre-cut these before I start tying these. This is uh, done with an X-Acto knife um, and a ruler, so they're nice and straight and even. So go ahead and secure this down here. Good. So we got this uh, orange foam strip tied in here. Next thing we want is like a size 8 uh, hackle feather here. Go ahead and tie that right in with the uh, foam strip here. <clears throat> We're going to go ahead and advance our thread three quarters of the way up the hook here. So we're going to take this foam, wrap this body, you want these wraps to be halfway on the wrap behind it, that'll give you a nice even body here. And then once you get to there we'll go ahead and secure this in good. This is all going to get covered up, so it doesn't have to be. Don't spend a bunch of time making it look perfect because it's all going to be covered anyway. So, <clears throat> trim off our excess here. So, next step here is a piece of brown foam, two millimeter. I cut these at about a about a half inch long here. And then I'll take and uh, cut a taper in this and then this gets tied in just in front of that orange piece here get it kind of where you want it and I'll cinch it down good here with some thread Trim off the excess here. So we're going to go ahead and go back over the body with the thread. I'm going to go with the uh, rust orange spiky squirrel dub here. This doesn't have to be super heavy, this is just to cover up the foam.
gonna stop this right where we tied in our brown piece of foam here. <clears throat> Take and wrap this hack all the way down, about an eighth of an inch apart. Next thing we're going to do is take two, I, I like the fine rubber, medium, medium's a little bit heavy so I kind of prefer the, the fine brown rubber leg for, for, for this particular fly, they just have a little bit better movement on it and uh, with this fly in particular, you know, it's a great skating fly so you want something that's going to give it even a little more movement which these fine brown rubber legs will do that. Get, get them laid in there. They don't got to be perfect. You can always readjust these once the fly is done. So, next material, and you can you can tie this. This is just widow's web. You can you can use whatever color you want. I kind of I like the tan for daytime, and then uh, you know when you get more towards the evening or overcast day, certainly. Uh, the white shows up a lot better on the surface of the river so I'll tie these wings in a couple different colors just so I have something that's easy to see for my uh, clients so we're gonna go ahead and cut this wing right even with the back of the hook here so last and last little bit here we're gonna take some more dubbing here just to kind of cover up our thread and make it look good and what I'll do is I'll leave just this little two three inch area here just to tie in this hackle feather one more time to finish off the fly and cover up the thread at the same time here so you want to be careful not to get too far forward on this fly because you're going to finish underneath underneath of the uh, the brown foam so take three or three wraps is more than enough so Go ahead and clip off the excess. Go ahead and bring this fly up. I'll just finish underneath here. You're probably going to trap a few of the feather fibers under there, but it's no huge deal. You can pluck them out with a with a bodkin or a pair of scissors when, once you're finished. So we'll go ahead and whip finish underneath here. So final steps here is kind of get our legs where they're all kind of in the same same orientation. Cut back this head to about a quarter of an inch. I don't like any sharp points on any of my flies, so it's personal preference. I don't like the fish care that much, but I like my legs about about an inch long, three quarters of an inch somewhere in there, just so they're even. Then I'll come underneath here and I'll just pluck out these trap fibers so that there's nice fiber all the way around. And that's it for the Headhunter October Caddis.